This is Matt P from Serato, and I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how I use smart crates to organize my keys. Um, and a little while ago, I wrote an article for Serato about how I used mixed in key to organize um, my songs by key and use them in smart crates. Now, since then, Serato has implemented the ability to write the key information to a file in Serato. Um, using the Analyze Files button, you can set the key and the B BPM or beat grid. Um, and so you can now get accurate key information about your tracks within Serato. Uh, the, the, way it, the way I use it with Serato is I use smart crates to organize that and um, in 1.9.2 things have got a little bit different because you can now put your smart crates into a parent crate. So as you can see here I have the keys crate and then my smart crates in there. So it's very very straightforward how to do this. Um, you just need to create a smart crate. I'm going to do a new one here right now with uh, starting with the key of 1. Um, so I add the rule key is 1a and then I turn off match all of the following rules and I say save. Now that will just populate everything with the key of 1a in it. Now I want to have 1a and 1b so I'm going to go and edit this crate here so I have an, another rule so I'm going to add the rule key is 1b. Now as long as I have match all of the following rules turned off, it'll have both of them in here. And there you go. Now I have that all organized by the key of 1A, and then I can also choose to organize it by BPM, which means I can easily just load up songs and find the nearest one, not only in key, but also in BPM. And to do that again, I'll just show you, I'll use a, another crate for, let's try number two now. So key is 2a, and then I'm going to add another rule, key is 2b. Make sure that I don't have match all of the following rules selected, and I'll save that. Now everything in that key will populate automatically with anything that has the key information, either 2a or 2b. And you just have to repeat that from 1 all the way through to 12, and then you can have them all organized like I have here which allows me to easily find songs that work together regardless of genre and come up with some pretty interesting mixes. Hope that helps. Uh, let us know if you like that in the comments below.